What is going on, coffee lovers? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you three really simple tips to help you brew better coffee. If you watch one video of mine or one video on the internet about specialty coffee, I really hope it's this video. I hope this video can serve as kind of a reference point for you on your coffee journey so that maybe if you're getting overwhelmed by all the noise on specialty coffee, Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and all the expensive equipment, you can just come back to this video and remember that that ultimately doesn't matter at the end end of the day. There are three key things that you need to brew better quality coffee and outside of those three key things everything else is just an added bonus, an added accessory that you can add on later. But these three core things need to be there for you to brew the best coffee you can at home. Now the very first item on this list or tip number one is going to be to invest in a good quality burr grinder. Aside from the quality of coffee that you're using itself, the grinder is the single most important piece of equipment on your coffee bar. Yes, it's even more important than the brew that you're using. Now maybe you're watching this video right now and you are drinking pre-ground coffee. You've, you've bought stuff from the store that's already been ground and that's okay. But if you want to take your coffee game to the next level, you want to invest long term and brew the best coffee you can, you are going to need to take that plunge and buy a grinder. Now as you're out there right now looking for a grinder and trying to find the best, most cost efficient option, you're going to be presented with two main categories, a blade grinder and a burr grinder. While the blade grinder may seem like the cheaper option right off the bat, it is is actually going to hurt your coffee game in the long run. So I would set that aside and just opt right away for a good quality burr grinder. Now blade grinders are a cheaper option and they're more readily available, especially if you just go to a grocery store or a Walmart or something like that. But the problem with blade grinders is they don't really grind your coffee, they kind of chop at your coffee. And because of that, you're getting super inconsistent grinds. Inconsistent grinds are definitely a no-go when it comes to brewing coffee. So while a blade grinder kind of just chops at your coffee and kind of leaves it up to chance, really, it's all over the place, you can't get any consistency, a burr grinder is the other side of the spectrum, and they come in conical or flat burrs, and they really grind your coffee properly to a more uniform size of particles that are more consistent. And when you have consistent grinds, it's going to lead to better brewing and less clogging and stalling in your brewing. Tip number two is to focus on the quality of your water. Coffee is made up 98% of water. 98%. That is, that is a lot. That is a large majority. Almost all of it comes down to mostly just the water. So you want to make sure you're using the best quality water to bring out the best extraction in your coffee and give you the best tasting cup. You might be sitting there wondering what in the world is it about the water that's going to make a difference here. Well, when you're brewing coffee, you have your coffee grounds, and these grounds need minerals in the water to connect with, almost like a Velcro. They need to stick to something. When your water is lacking these minerals, the coffee grounds don't have anything to stick to, and they kind of just slip right through, and there's something missing in your cup at the end of the day because you didn't get the best extraction pulled from the grounds. Now you're probably wondering what type of water should you be using to brew your coffee. And to be honest, tap water is not the worst water to choose here. There's a lot of minerals in there that are gonna help you extract good coffee. Just depends on the quality of your tap water and if it's safe to drink. For myself personally, I use water filtered through the Brita uh, filtration system. It still leaves a lot of the minerals in there. It isn't completely uh, clean. And so I find that gives me a really nice extraction. And I can tell a big taste difference between the Brita uh, coffee and tap water coffee. Now, if you want to go all out, you want to take things to the next level, you can even buy third wave water packets or any other kind of like perfect water packets that will go in distilled water and add enhanced minerals that are going to lead to good extraction as well. If you want to go that far, if not, just use tap water or a burrito system. The most important thing to remember is that your coffee has to have minerals in it so that it can connect to the coffee grounds and extract the best possible flavors so that you get a nice full bodied, rich flavored cup of coffee at the end of the day. Tip number three is the most self-explanatory, but it is to buy better coffee. At the end of the day, if you are looking to brew the best quality coffee you can at home, or you're sick and tired of the coffee you're brewing at home and you're looking for a better option, you need to stop buying the bad quality stuff and start intentionally looking for good quality specialty coffee. Oftentimes when you walk into a grocery store or a big box store and you see coffee on the shelves, there's a few things going on with that coffee. One, it's not always the freshest. Think about it, that coffee has had to be shipped to those stores often months in advance. And it also just sits there. When coffee goes on sale, it's usually because they need to move it quickly. 
Now, a lot of big companies that need to produce high volumes of coffee mass roast their coffee. What this means is that the beans are not being fully roasted to their true taste potential. Some are under roasted, some are over roasted. They don't roast to potential, they roast for consistency. As a result, you get a lot of very over roasted coffee because that helps cover up for deficiencies on the top of things, but it leads to a less quality cup of coffee when you brew it at home. By going that extra mile to buy specialty coffee from a local roaster or a local coffee shop, you are supporting ethically sourced coffee and coffee farmers, you're supporting local small business owners, and you're getting the best quality coffee for you to take home and brew and start your day on the right note with high quality coffee. Yes, the specialty coffee might cost you a little bit more than the eight or nine or $10 coffee you're buying at the grocery store, but it's gonna be fresher quality. Uh, if you are getting pre-ground coffee, that roaster or shop will be able to grind it specifically for how you need, and you get to support local and get the best quality coffee to brew the best quality coffee at home. There is only so much you can do to make bad quality coffee taste decent. At the end of the day, it's not gonna get the job done. Go out, get the highest quality coffee you can within your budget, you don't have to go crazy. There you have it folks, the three core things that you need in your coffee setup to brew the best quality coffee. You can set aside all the flashy gear, the most expensive pieces of equipment. If you have a good quality brew grinder, good water that has nice minerals in it and high quality specialty coffee, then you could get a $10 Mr. Coffee Pot and still brew amazing coffee. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe it helped you on your coffee journey or if you're just starting your journey. If it did help you, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and definitely hit that subscribe button to join our coffee loving community. My name is Caitlin. I am a specialty craft coffee roaster from Toronto, Canada. My coffee is gonna be linked down in the description down below if you wanna check it out. It would mean the absolute world to me. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Remember, drink better coffee and go support a local roaster. Peace.